Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House and today we are opening another five of these ancient animal blind packs. We have already collected 54 out of a possible 81. Number 15, Roll Fostius. Roll Fostius was an armoured fish. It had a long snout, like a unicorn's horn. Instead of teeth, it had flat bony plates, probably used to crush the shells of crabs and other crustaceans. Number 7, Pterygotus. Pterygotus was a sea scorpion that grew larger than a man. Using its gigantic eyes, it scanned the water for prey such as fish and trilobites and used its clawed limbs to forage in reef crevices. We already have Pterygotus. Number 64, Tarbosaurus. Tarbosaurus was gigantic but had very small arms with only two fingers on each hand. The long serrated teeth enabled it to attack sauropods. It had a massive skull and powerful jaws. While Tyrannosaurus terrified the wildlife of North America, Tarbosaurus was doing the same in Asia. We already have Tarbosaurus in our collection. Our sticker is Dionysius. Number 75, Andrew Sarkis. Andrew Sarkis was an early hoofed mammal and a bloodthirsty one at that. Looking like a giant hyena, it may have been the largest carnivorous land mammal of all time. We already have Andrew Sarkis. Number 61, Quetzalcoatlus. As tall as a giraffe with the wingspan of a small aircraft, it covered vast distances with ease. It probably hunted on the ground, seizing small dinosaurs in its toothless beak. We already have Quetzalcoatlus. Number 39, Dicreosaur. Dicreosaur had a shorter neck than most sauropods, so it probably couldn't browse any higher than three meters. But it did have a long tail, which, which like other sauropods, it used as a whip. Dicreosaur was only about half as long as its close relative, Diplodocus. Our sticker is Huayengasaurus. Number 52, Ineosaurus. Ineosaurus had a hooked parrot-like beak with strong teeth for grasping and chewing plants. It had an impressive neck frill with two horns and a nose horn that changed shape as the animal grew older. We already have Ineosaurus. Number 8, Meganeura. Probably the largest insect that has ever lived. Meganeura looked like a gigantic dragonfly, flying quickly through tropical forests. It used its huge eyes to spot flying insects, which it could catch and eat in mid-air. Number 63, Protoceratops. Protoceratops had a wide neck frill. It also had broad feet and wide spade-like claws used to dig burrows. One group of young protoceratops was found preserved together in a burrow in the sand. We already have protoceratops. Our sticker is Giganotosaurus. Number 61, Quetzalcoatlus. As tall as a giraffe with the wingspan of a small aircraft, it covered vast distances with ease. It probably hunted on the ground, seizing small dinosaurs in its toothless beak. We already have Quetzalcoatlus. Number 35, Leeds Ichthus. The largest bony fish that ever lived, maybe. Despite its size, it was a filter feeder, not a hunter. It gulped in huge volumes of water, then squirted it out while sifting shrimps and other tiny animals in its gills. We already have Leeds Ichthus. Number 71, Triceratops. Although the size of an elephant, Triceratops was built more like a rhinoceros with its low slung head and intimidating horns. Triceratops used its horns and dramatic neck frill to attract mates or deter rivals. 
Triceratops was as heavy as a 10 ton truck. We already have Triceratops. Our sticker is Styracosaurus. Our final pack for this video. Number 56, Saltosaurus. Saltosaurus was smaller than most of the other titanosaurs, but it was well protected against predators. This plant eater could rear up on its hind legs to feed on high branches. We already have Saltosaurus. Number 58, Pleoplatycarpus. Pleoplatycarpus was a mid-sized predator that lived in warm oceans and hunted in shallow seas. It had big eyes, a long body, paddle-like limbs and a deep muscular tail. We already have Pleoplatycarpus. Number 77, Icaronycterus. Even though bat bones are thin and fragile, many have survived as fossils. Icaronycterus is one of the earliest bats found. It probably hunted insects at night using echolocation just like modern bats. It is named after the mythical Greek boy Icarus who flew using feathers stuck to his arms. We have collected 58 out of a possible 81 of the Ancient Animal Activity cards. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Press Play Picture House, click on the links for more dinosaur videos, and see you next time!